So I will just say that work done by the system, W is considered negative, and work done on the system, W is considered positive, right? So we can see that the, the internal energy of the system can be transferred to either heat loss or gain and into the forms of work because internal energy is the heat. It is equal to Q plus minus W. Right? And this Q mm -hmm. is a heat added to the system. Got it. Now, let's see what I have written. Important conclusions drawn from first law of thermodynamics. So, I should be strong. Okay. So, what I have written? Let's say that u equal q plus w. Let's say that u is positive. And when I say w positive, means you are doing work system, work done on the system, right? Mm -hmm. So as for this scenario, delta u equal q plus w. So q is the heat of, there is no change. As you can see, q is the heat added to the system, right? No change. Mm -hmm. And w is work done on the system, why? Right? Because the w is positive. Right now, so mm -hmm. you can write that uh, delta u or delta e. In some some books it is delta u, some book it is delta e. Right in Kaplan it is delta u. So when we write delta u is equal to q minus w, that means work is done by the sun, but q is not going to change. It is the heat absorbed only. Okay. Okay. Now let's look at the question one, where the delta u is equal to zero. Just a condition can be assumed, just like we assume sometimes delta G is equal to zero. But so when delta U is equal to zero, you can say that your U2 is equal to one. Means internal energy of the system, initial and final, will be equal. Mm -hmm. Right? And when delta U is equal to zero, then definitely you can put this in equation one. If you put in this equation one, you will get Q is equal negative W. Okay. Right? And what does it confer? It confers that heat absorbed from the surroundings is equal to work done by the system. Mm. Right? We can define a mm -hmm. definition, na? Just by knowing yeah. what these variables are, right? Mm -hmm. Is equal negative W means heat absorbed from the surroundings is equal to were done by the system. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. And now coming to us, the second law of thermodynamics, right? And I think we all know the second law of thermodynamics because we have done biochemistry uh, very early, right? In which we mm -hmm. talked about the protein folding, taking a lot of energy or understanding of energy, right? So the second law of thermodynamics has a relation with entropy and it says that. System tends towards increasing entropy. That means if you are getting more disturbed, then it makes that you are good. Right? The universe mm -hmm. is existing because entropy of the unit is increasing. Right? Yeah. And this law introduces the concept of entropy as a measure of disorder. The more disordered you are, the more entropy you are having. To better understand entropy, Consider the relative entropies of the gas, liquid, and solid. You can you, you can clearly state that in the gas, the molecules of the gas particles are very disturbed and very going very far from each other, right? Highly disturbed. But when you control their energy at a certain level, you can convert them into liquid molecules. And when you control the energy of the liquid molecules, you can solidify into solid, right? Mm -hmm. Gas yeah, molecules are the highest entropy, followed by liquid, and then finally solids. So entropy can be discussed by the following equation. This is a new equation for room, which is theta x is equal to k times ln w, right? Mm -hmm. Always equal to 2.3 log k time, right? We can easily mm -hmm. <coughs> determine the log values, but ln calculation is quite difficult. Okay. So entropy can be described by the following equation, which the k is known as force response, and its value will be given in the question. Okay. Right? 
and W is a white letter. Okay. Right. But in this equation, no, sorry, it is not work. In this direct, W does not represent work, but rather it is the total number of possible micro states the system can adapt. Right? Micro state means it's very similar to the protein folding, if you recall. But I say that protein folding is a, uh, a specified process, right? Protein folding is a uh, unique process. Means, I think I call, talked about Leventhal at all with you, that kind. Protein folding happens in a specific manner. It does not take all the parts or all the combinations, right? So, so total number of micro state means just like this is a transition state, right? This is another transition state. This is the mm -hmm. transition state. So from the this is the fully unfolded, right? This mm -hmm. is the fully unfolded, and this is the native protein or fully folded protein conformation, right? So then, if you add the number of microwaves or the number of transition states or the number of molten states, it is known as this equation. Okay. Okay, you got it. Okay. So a micro state refers to any combination of all possible orientation particles within the system. And thus, since the number of micro states depends on the Hello? No, I could not hear you. And your mic is like cutting in and out. Oh. Is it uh, now? Is it consistent? Yeah, I think so. Oh, oh, oh. I was just saying that thus, this number of micro states in on the number of particles within a system, the entropy of a system tends to increase as more particles are added. If you add particles, definitely you are creating more stimulus. That means creating more entropy. Mm -hmm. Got it? Yeah. Okay. And just make an example here. If we start understanding chemistry as uh, in relation to biochemistry, it will be easier for MKF. No? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, in thermal reactions. So these are the chemical reactions in which energy, often in the form of heat, is transferred from the environment into the system, taking energy into the system. So as a result, the temperature of the system may rise while the temperature of the environment may drop. You got it. Got it. Now, we call that variable Q represents E. As a result, data Q means final Q and minus initial Q for an endothermic reaction is for Got it. Right? And the change in enthalpy delta H of an endothermic reaction is always positive. Mm. Because it is taken up. And that is the thermodynamic quantity we know that. Okay. Okay. For exothermic reaction, the reverse is the case. Right? Heat is released from the system. As a result, the temperature of the system may drop while the temperature of the environment may raise this energy is lost from your system. So you have given energy to the surroundings. Okay. Right. And so the data Q or an exothermic reaction is this heat has gone. Okay. Okay. And the data edge is also negative because of the endothermic reaction. Okay. Okay. And now, what is the difference between delta Q and delta H? No? Because enthalpy, I defined it like a heat content. No? Every time mm -hmm. when you look at enthalpy, it's a heat content, right? So if, if Q is the heat and delta is the heat content, what the difference? So the difference is that enthalpy is a state function, right? We mm -hmm. often refer as delta H or Q1 H2 minus 1, right? Which means that mm -hmm. its value only depends on the starting and the ending states of a process. But heat, as mm -hmm. I told you, is a process function, right? Once again, 
if this is a rod and the temperature of this rod is 10 degrees Celsius and here it is 100 degrees Celsius, then to maintain the temperature or, or, you know, level, the heat is going to transfer 100 to 10 degrees Celsius. So process means a kind of transfer, right? Okay, yeah. It is a process fun function because it can depend on the particular process taken to go from the starting to the end in the state. Okay. And further, delta H equal to delta Q when the reaction occurs under common pressure, right? And I think mm -hmm. there, there, oh, it is not written here, but I think there's a equation delta H equal to delta Q plus P delta V. You find this equation somewhere in mm -hmm. this chapter. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so Q is a process function depending on what happens in the reaction, but H is only initial and final, it's dependent on those. Yes. Okay. Now, right? We know that the delta is zero or negative or positive, what, is, what will be the reaction, right? So I think two was not to this, but to this question. Okay. In certain process, 678 joules of heat is absorbed by the system, while 294 joules of work is done on the system. And what is the change in the internal energy of the system? Do not make the solution. Try to use the concept to this question. Mm -hmm. So six seventy eight plus two ninety four. Yes, because then on yeah. the system. Okay, so whether you can write delta E or delta U is up to you, but the answer should be like this because on the system is perfect. And this question: It is a combustion of glucose having delta H of negative seventy two. Then how much energy required for production of one point six gram of glucose? Hmm. Wait, how do we do? Oh, oh, oh. So six times 12 is 72 plus 12, 84 plus six, 10 times six. Four. So 180 grams mean it needs negative 72 kilocal or 72. Mm -hmm. So then 72 to over 180 times 1.6, because you have to like solve because it's yes. a ratio, right? Yes. So then 0. 0.64. Very good. Very good. Right? It was in the question. And here I have explained the thermodynamic terminology, isolated close and then. And the clear cut definition of isolated means I think there is no change of matter and energy in the closed system and the be exchange and the open system, both matter and energy can be exchanged, right? Mm. Yeah. So yes, okay. And the example of the isolated system is like insulated bomb calorie meter. Example of the open system is a steam radiator and open system is like thin, it is open. Okay. And mm -hmm. what is which highlight lines of that? The system experiences a change in one or more of its properties, but the situation of the reaction of the product, the other mm -hmm. it under those process. Definitely. If the weather is changing, we have seen that the process transfer of heat has taken place. This, for example. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, towards, more towards the, again, uh, types of process in which you need to memorize that which thing you should keep zero 
and what should be the graph looks like if epilepsy comes in and right? Now, mm -hmm. Many of these processes create a special conditions because they allow us to simplify the first law of thermodynamics, right? How? Just like we talk about isothermal process. Isothermal means temperature is not going to change, right? Or mm -hmm. the temperature of the isothermal such as constant, right? Then you can say that constant temperature implies that total energy of the system U is constant, isn't it? Yeah. If the, if the uh, situation is, if your system is isothermal, that means the total energy of the system is constant throughout the process. And if the system total energy is constant, means delta Q is equal to zero. For this, the main, uh, the punch line or the punch uh, uh, point is that delta U of isothermal process is to zero. So definitely Q will be equal to either plus or minus W. Okay. Right? Or you can say that, or you can say that heat added to the system, right? Here, heat added to the system equals work by the system, this equation. Okay. Right? So, an isothermal process appears as a hyperbolic on pressure volume graph and work is represented by the area under such curves as shown in this figure. Right? Mm -hmm. Every time, if you're talking about point A and point B, mm -hmm. if you travel from point A to point B, then it is pressure and it is volume, right? So pressure changes from P to B, volume changes from P to VB. So area under this region is always the work done. Mm -hmm. Right? And temperature is constant in isothermal process, thus, yeah, under the curve represents not only the work performed by the gas, but also the heat that enters the system. Okay. Okay, got it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, coming towards work done in an isothermal reversible tension of an ideal gas. What does it mean? We are still doing isothermal process, right? So basically, the formula of the work done as per the physics is equal to, one of the formula of the work done is equal to P delta V. You know or not? Yes. W is equal, P delta V is the formula from the physics, right? So whether you mm -hmm. can call delta V or dV, it is the change in difference, right? So mm -hmm. basically, by ideal gas equation, we know that PV is equal to NRV, right? Ideal gas equation, if you could look here only, PV is equal to NRV, right? Isothermal means we can't change temperature. If we have started from pressure P1 and goes to pressure P2 and volume V1 and goes to volume V2, then we can write that P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2 because temperature in both the cases will be cancelled out. We can call write T and V. And P and P will get done. Okay. Right. So, or you can write that P1 upon P2 is equal V2 upon V1. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Also, also, if you do the entire equation by use of formula W, which is uh, from volume V1 to V2 NRT because P is P as per P is equal NRT P is equal NRT upon V right you can see that yeah in place of NRT upon V is again so when you solve this entire equation L right LN will come and then basically it is to make zero K law so you need to just remind this equation that W mm -hmm. also equal to negative 2.303 NRT log V upon V1 or same thing V1 upon V2. Mm. Right? So you need mm -hmm. to memorize only three equations for the volume in isothermal reversible process. Okay. Now, coming towards the process, which is adiabatic process. 
the access for the data u was zero in the electric process, no heat is exchanged. Means q is equal to zero, right? Yeah. Right. Adiabatic process occur when q is equal to zero between the system and the environment enters. The thermal energy of the system is constant throughout the process. So, when u is equal to zero, the first law of the thermodynamics simplifies to delta u is equal to w, isn't it? Either negative or positive, delta u is equal to w, right? Mm -hmm. That means change in internal energy of the system is equal to work then on the system or opposite work then by the system, depending on the sign which you are using. Okay. Right? Now, mm -hmm. the graph of the IRP geometric expansion is also a hyperbolic graph, just like the isothermal expansion, but you can determine like this. This is the adiabatic process. So, uh, pressure and volume graph is again shown. There's a pressure and volume graph. Here, temperatures, uh, this line, this particular line represents the temperature B. This particular line represents temperature TA, right? And if you are going from point A to B, as you can see, we are changing the temperature as well, right? A to B, right? A lies on TA, B lies on the TV. Then the work done under this process is equal to the undercover area. And this is equal to delta U because Q is equal to zero. Mm -hmm. Simple. The so heat mm -hmm. exchange is zero in adiabatic process and temperature is not constant, right? Heat is zero and this is how we can also see that heat temperatures are two different things, right? Mm -hmm. you, you can think that when there is no heat exchange, there is no heat exchange, but there is change in temperature, definitely there must be something changed with the delta U of the system or internal energy of the system. Mm -hmm. Simple? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now going to uh, one more formula, which is work done in adiabatic reversible expansion for gas, right? So because we know certain things, like Q is equal Q plus W. Sometimes it is written in small, sometimes capital, right? As we know, Q is equal to W for adiabatic process, so delta U is equal to W. Right. Now, as we know that delta U also equals to NCV delta D. Now, this is a new equation for you. Right? This mm -hmm, is a new mm -hmm. equation. You need to memorize it. Delta U is equal to NCV delta D. Or basically, W also equal to NCV delta D. Right? The TV is a heat capacity at constant. Okay. Right? And it is also equal to R over gamma minus. Gamma is uh, a constant. That value is given the question. Okay. Right? And N is the number of moles. Right? So if you simplify these two things, you can get W is equal to n r gamma minus 1 t2 minus c1 but i don't think you did not memorize this equation look at it and notice that cp over cv is equal gamma that's it mm -hmm. okay this is not for my equation mm -hmm. now coming towards the third process which is isobaric process bar means pressure by the unit of pressure Right? So mm -hmm. isobaric means when the pressure of the system is constant. Okay. Right? So isothermal and isobaric processes are common because it is usually easy to control the temperature and pressure. Yes. Isobaric processes do not alter the first law, but know that isobaric process appears as a flat line onto the PZ graph because pressure remains constant. So it is kind of easy to recognize 
So which one is an of isotonic level? And the area definitely covers the every time. Mm. Okay. So you are changing the volume from V1 to V2. You are changing position from A to B, but you are not changing the pressure. Got it. Got it. So, oh, and last one is isochoric process. Choric means volume, right? Isovolumetric or isochoric process experience no change in volume, right? So mm -hmm. if volume is not changed, that means no work is performed. How can I gain this fact that suppose this is a cutting, right? And containing a piston, right? This is a container containing a piston. So if you press this piston towards the board, then the volume of the system changes, right? Mm -hmm. If you push it backwards, again the move the system either, right? So definitely pushing means work done. Mm -hmm. Right? So definitely if there is no change in volume, definitely there is no work is performed on or by the system. Right? Okay. So you can see that because the gas neither expands nor compress, no work is performed in such a process. And here your W is equal to zero. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. That's what I use to use as W. If W is equal to zero, means change in internal energy of a system is equal to the heat absorbed. Okay. Heat added to the system, right? It is very tricky to memorize which one is zero in each process. I suggest my every student to make a chart, a flow chart of uh, in one paper, just that, like the isochoric, right? And mm -hmm. make a chart and a line, okay. adiabatic, right? And draw a line, right? And then two other so draw a line and write that which one is equal to zero. Here, W is equal to zero in the adiabatic pressure is zero. In the other two process, we can write it is equal to zero and then write mm -hmm. the final equation as well. Like here, eta U is equal to Q. Okay. Right? So, and volumetric process, vertical line is obtained at the PV cup, right? Vertical line means you mm -hmm. is not going to change as you can see. In this and the binary state, and this gives a vertical. Adiabatic process gives a horizontal line. Okay. Simple. Mm -hmm. And this is the summary of all the processes which we have done. If you could see, Isothermal and adiabatic are quite related to each other, or you can say so they can be quite confusing, right? But isobaric and isochoric are like quite interesting slides. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, in the exam, there are two curves like this and this. And how to determine which one is isothermal, which one is adiabatic? Definitely, you can draw like this in same temporary loop, right? right? But here, because of the large loop, you can write that. This would be a different temperature. This would be at different temperature. Because the size of two, you can determine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And now we need to talk about phase changes. Should we start today or tomorrow? Is it tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, entirely. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Shana. Any questions? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if I'm ready to